Hi everyone, Wagarama here, and this is a short ad break for you. The Wagarama channel is being sponsored by Control Mods AU, and behind me I have their website right here. Now, as you can see on the website, it says you can build your own custom controller. But let me stop you right there. You're probably wondering, why should we go with Controller Mods AU? Well, for starters, if you're an Australian citizen, you already know how hard it is to get your hands on a scuff controller, let alone the shipping costs and so on and so forth. And also, if your scuff controller breaks or needs repairs, you have to send it all the way back to America and you can go for months without your own controller. Well, that stops now. If you're an Australian citizen, Controller Mods AU is the option for you. So if it is time to get rid of your old trusted controller, or maybe even get rid of the good old keyboard and mouse, Controller Mods has a solution for you. On Controller Mods, you can build your own custom controller, as seen behind me. They also have options of pre-selected and built controllers for you. Better yet, they also have an afterpay, so if you want to be a little bit cheeky and get one earlier, you can. But don't let me stop you there. They already have some selections of some pre-customized and built controllers for you. As you can see, we've got a Michael Jordan controller here. We also have a Batman controller, Warzone. We also have here an Apex, Red Dead Redemption. They've got these unique custom built controllers just for you that you can purchase right now. If you want to go to the next level and take your gaming to the next level, well, upgrade your game. Check out our large range of modifications to raise your game available for PlayStation and Xbox controllers. As you know, Scuff, they don't do PS5 controllers yet. Controller Mods AU is already beating them in the market there. With Controller Mods AU, you can have your PS5 controller modified. Now, in saying that, you can either send them your current PS5 controller, or you can just buy one new from their store and have them modify it for you there. So, let's have a look at our options. You have pro buttons. So keep your thumbs on the thumbsticks where they belong with multitasking pro buttons on the back of your modded controller. These are a bit different from the scuff controller panels. In my opinion, these are much more comfortable as they will just sit on the back of your fingers as you hold the controller naturally. There's less bending as with the paddles. You also have a remap chip, so you can modify what your pro buttons do. You might change one of them to X, square, right thumbstick, whatever you want to do, you can change it right there with the remap chip. Your other options can include smart triggers. As you know, with a mouse, as soon as you click on a mouse, you instantly have that action, but with a controller, you have to press down on the trigger, and it's like a gradual thing. Your smart triggers, as soon as you press the trigger, it's instantly like a click, like a mouse, which helps you get fast acting advantages. And it can also give you a 50% faster response time as compared to regular triggers. It also has a rapid fire chip available as well. Some other options include interchangeable thumbsticks and also a thumbstick tension option. So the thumbstick tension is all you need to help improve your control over the thumbstick and aiming in FPS games. Allowing smoother accuracy than default. We also have digital action and D-pad buttons. So get the response time with our new digital action buttons and digital D-pad buttons that instantly go from 0 to 100 when pressed. We also have Pro Grip for the back of your controllers, you know, keep your phalanges nice and comfortable there. You've got your independent D-pad buttons as well. So no accidental presses with our independent D-pad buttons. These buttons replace the standard D-pad buttons with individual separate single buttons. Obviously, without me explaining any further, you can see the advantage for that as well. Now guys, like I said, these are all the options for your controllers. You're probably wondering, okay, Wogs, that's fantastic, but how do I build one? Well, if you click here at the top tab, I'm going to go PlayStation, I'm going to go Create PS5. Once you create this option, it takes it to this screen here. This is where you can completely customise your own controller. You can change the face of your controller by pressing any of these options. I might go for blue. You can change the back trimming. There you go, it's got red skulls. Excellent. You can also change the back of your controller as well. Let's just choose red to keep that going with the skulls. Your triggers. You can change the colour of your triggers. I might choose blue. And your digital D buttons. Would you like your digital D buttons? Yeah, why not? You can keep going through all these options yourself and seeing what better suits your playstyle. 
Because as you know, as a gamer, your playstyle is unique to you. So why not create your own custom controller that is unique for the way you play? Guys, if this is something that interests you, please check out Controller Mods AU. The link is in the About section of my Twitch. And also, use code MODERAMA, that is MODERAMA, to get 5% off your next purchase. Thank you guys, and happy gaming!